Hi, do you feel as though you are not where you want to be in life? Do you feel as though you're behind and that you're still striving to hit certain certain checkpoints in life or cross off certain boxes, unlock certain achievements, and you feel as though you should be further ahead than where you are? My name is Keisha Dent. I'm a certified consulting hypnotist, and I wanted to talk today about a very common anxiety that I hear when I talk to people. And this is definitely something that I feel like a lot of people can relate to, and that you feel as though there's something wrong with you because you should be ahead. You should be have having you should have certain things in life already laid out, whether that be a certain type of job, um, a certain level of income a certain size house with two cars, with maybe the perfect partner already married, uh, 2.5 kids, or it could be something totally different. It could be something less orthodox, something such as wanting to live a certain lifestyle or be nomadic or I figured out a perfect way for you to travel the world and make money, but you still haven't figured that out. I wanted to talk about this because this is something that is a very, very common thing. The first thing I want to say, is if this is you, and this is something that you are beating yourself up over, and something that is really kind of weighing on you with anxiety and not feeling good about yourself, the first thing I want to say to you is you're not alone. This is actually a very, very common anxiety, and it hits all people at all levels, all levels of achievement, all levels of career, all ages, and this is something that you are certainly not alone in. In fact, very, very High achieving, people that you absolutely 110% have to hands down agree are killing it in life, most people would say, still feel this and still express this anxiety. We're talking people who are millionaires, billionaires, people who have unlocked incredible wealth, fame, fortune, influence, followers, fans in their 20s and their 30s and their 40s, and have all of the side pieces that match still, still will often express, they just feel as though they're a little bit behind, that they should be doing certain things a, a step ahead. So why is this such a common thing? And what to do about it? So the first thing I wanna ask you is if this is you, and this is something that you're beating yourself over, up over, over and over, I wanna ask you, where is that coming from? Is it coming from your parents? Is this need to be further ahead coming from messages you're getting from friends, from social media, from Instagram, Facebook, from TV, from movies, from yourself? If you really, really take a moment and think about where the messages are coming from that say that you should be ahead of yourself, that say that you should be where you not should be where you are, you're likely going to find that it is coming from somewhere. And another thing that is extremely important for you to know, I want you to know right now, and you probably already know this, but we're gonna reiterate it, is that no one is superior to you. No one is superior to you. I want you to say that. No one is superior to me. No one is superior to me. No one is superior to me. And if you really, really believe that and really think that and know that to be true, and this is true, because no human being on this planet has ever, ever been given extra biology that makes anyone better or superior to anyone else. We are all equal. And if this is something that you absolutely agree with, that you believe is true, that I want to ask you now, again, going back to where the messages that you are behind in life came from, you're going to find, if you trace it, if you truly take the moment and mindfulness to sit out and trace it, it's going to run into people. These messages have come from people. It may be from one person, it may be from a combination of people, but they're from people, they're from society. So if no one is superior to you, then there's no reason to ever beat yourself up over trying to measure yourself according to someone else's someone else's measurement of where you should be in life. Because no one else's opinion and no one else's way of life is superior to you and what you're doing at all. In other words, there's nothing for you to ever beat yourself about measuring up to. There's nothing for you to ever beat yourself up about as as far as falling behind. There's nothing to fall behind because no one's way is better. 
no one's way of achieving a big house or doing doing this or doing that is a better way. There's simply ways. In fact, they're illusions. These are simple illusions that give all of us who are all equal a way to feel as though we are doing well, a way to feel as though we are higher up a hierarchy than other people. They're simply fake, which is why Oftentimes, as you go and you unlock these different achievements, you may not feel any different. You may be very excited right away. But over time, you tend to realize that this is something, this, it, there's no substance to it. They're just toys. All of these things are illusions. They're illusions to give us a feeling of superiority. Now, there's nothing innately wrong with those at all. In fact, I would absolutely say that going after goals with gusto and chasing after goals is a worthy, worthy way to spend your time on this planet. But it's when things don't play out as expected and you find that you're not ticking those boxes right when you said, and you're kind of not right on, on schedule with all the things you want. If you're finding that when that happens, you start to beat yourself up. You start to have your self-worth suffer. You start to experience a lot of negative and harmful, harsh, critical thoughts on yourself. That's when it becomes problematic. And that's what's, when it's important to remind yourself that all of these toys and accomplishments and check boxes are illusions. And as one of my favorite new thought leaders, Mike Dooley says, you can play with the illusions all damn day. Just don't trust them. Don't trust them, don't believe them. They mean nothing. They're air, they're substance. And it's important to understand that life is a game. Play it as hard out as you would like to, but know that whether you get it or whether you don't get it means nothing. It means nothing. What to do instead is to honor your self-worth and to tell yourself that you are enough exactly as you are regardless of if you get the new shiny toy or if you don't. New shiny toys are just that. Things to play with, they mean nothing about who you are and what you're capable of. So my name is Keisha Dent. I'm a certified consulting hypnotist. And if you're interested in learning more about how to manage anxiety, about how to manage negativity, about increasing your sense of self-worth and your self sense of self-confidence, reach out to me. I would love to talk to you. You can certainly sign up for a free consultation with me and we'll go over how hypnosis works, what working with me looks like, how I can help you get any of your questions answered. And I think you'll definitely find this is something that is worthwhile for your time. And I would love to find out more. Okay, so definitely reach out to me if you'd like to find out more. And in the meantime, remember, to change your life, you must first change yourself. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.